If you love buffalo, you're gonna love today's recipe. We're making crock pot buffalo chicken dip and there's only five ingredients. Hey guys, today I'm making crock pot buffalo chicken dip. It's five ingredients and it's the perfect dip to make for any occasion, football games, family gatherings, holidays. People love our chicken dip and today I'm gonna to show you how simple it is. You just need five simple ingredients. If you're watching today, remember the link for today's video is on eatingonadime.com. You can just search Crock-Pot Buffalo Dip or you can say, hey, can I have the recipe and we will send it to you and give you the direct link where you can print it, you can pin it and you can share it. Okay. so. Five ingredients is what you need. You're going to need some chicken. Our chicken is already cooked. About two chicken breasts is what you'll need. Approximately, what did we decide on? About a cup, about a cup of shredded chicken. You can do a rotisserie chicken just from the grocery store. You can make your own chicken, which is what we did, and then you shred it. You could do chicken breasts, which is what we did, or um, chicken thighs would be good as well. You're going to need ranch dressing or uh, buffalo, not buffalo, what did I say buffalo? Um, what's the other dressing that's in buffalo? Blue cheese dressing. I have a note, what's it called when your brain doesn't work properly? A brain fart. A brain fart. Are you allowed to say that on a cooking video? I'm having a brain fart, guys. Okay, so back to what I was saying, you'll need ranch dressing or blue cheese dressing. We're doing ranch dressing today. We also have buffalo sauce, cream cheese, and Cheddar cheese. Okay, let's get going. Are you ready, friends? Step one, I'm gonna throw in, I'm gonna do the cream cheese first. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw in the cream cheese first. First thing I'm gonna need to do is kind of dice it up a little bit because I want this to melt. So by putting it at the bottom of the crock pot, it'll heat up faster. So that way this will, you know, cook faster. So cream cheese, Ooh. we're gonna cut it up into little, on a pieces, but you're gonna like cube it just so it will, my cream cheese is softened, but just so it will uh, melt faster inside the crock pot. I am using a small crock pot. This is the crock pot that I use all the time for my dips. We do have a link for it inside the recipe on the post. There we go. Save this so you can lick the package later. Anybody, anybody else? No, give me a heart. Okay, let me know. Then I'm going to throw in my buffalo sauce. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Because I'm going to use that in there first just to get, so that way that cream cheese doesn't burn as you're slowly turning it in. We're going to throw in our shredded chicken. So far, so good, right guys? And then ranch dressing. The full recipe is at eatingonadime.com where you can print out the recipe, and then we're gonna to top it with the cheddar cheese. A quick stir, and that's how simple it is. Guys, look how easy that was. Just a quick stir, just to kind of, you don't have to do a really good stir right now because it will cook and you'll come back and keep stirring it. So we're going to add the lid we're going to cook on low until it's completely melted and heated through and then you'll just keep it on warm. It's super simple. It's super easy. So you can make this right now. You can throw it in your fridge and for, let's say you're going to have like people coming over and then you can pull it out probably about an hour or two because everything is cooked. All you're doing is melting the cheese and combining the flavors. So it's super simple and super easy. Um, a couple tips. Number one, we like to serve this with, chips, celery sticks. You can even do a really hearty cracker. We have some friends that love like a really nice, what are those crackers called? They're not like Ritz, but they're those, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about the other day? Toast, toast, what's that brand? Toast? I don't know, but you guys know, let me know. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. But it's really good with crackers. People love it with celery because it gives you that whole buffalo vibe. Um, if you really wanted to and you have more time or you're using a bigger crock pot and you're feeding a bigger crowd, you could throw in your chicken raw. So you would do the two chicken breasts in the crock pot with the buffalo sauce, nothing else. Cook it until the chicken's done, shred it, 
and then you would add in everything else. Do you agree? That would be another way, but we were just doing it as more like an easy dip, but you could start from raw chicken. Just do not add in your ranch, your cream cheese, or your cheddar cheese until the chicken is completely cooked through and shredded, and then you would continue the recipe as is. So that would be great if you're going to make a big dip. Like let's say you're going tailgating and there's gonna be 30 people there. This would, that would be great to double it and cook it in a bigger hot pot. If you are worried about spice, I wouldn't be too worried with this recipe because you have cream cheese and the ranch to balance out the spice. So you're getting more of that buffalo sauce flavor and less of the buffalo sauce spice. So it's a very nice balanced flavor with a little bit of kick with that nice creamy cheesy deliciousness that you're wanting in a warm dip. You're gonna love it. So just give it a try. Remember, go to eatingonadime.com for the full recipe. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, you can get the full recipe, even the nutritional information, and the link in the description will also include a link to our homemade buffalo sauce. And I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.